we're getting to the end of this build. This is a nice little way to set up right here when you're towards the end. And what I got going on at this point is got my two outside frames, which are going to go on the right and the left sides of it. The outside diameters of those are four foot by 10 foot. And I got two of those. Now I got the, the front and the back of it right there. And those are outside diameter four foot by four foot. And right now I just got done framing up, which is going to be the top of this thing. And it is 10 foot long by, I can't remember the exact, um, the exact width, but I had to add this, of course, because I'm going to want four foot inside of this thing. All right, I have this thing secured just with this. What it is, is it's five different panels so that you can take this thing anywhere. And it's just put together with just, just the, these two pieces, this top and this bottom right here. And what I'm doing now is I'm just filling these in these cracks right there. Then I got a quick thing to do up at the front and then this would be a completed project. I like to do the insulation. It doesn't matter that the paper is on the inside. It's supposed to be on the outside according to whatever. It doesn't matter. I like it like this because when I'm stapling it, I can push it and actually get more into the sides, which is where you really need it. So I'm going to put my wood in there. And I have... Um, I have four stops, door stops on the inside as well. And this is what the inside of it looks like. And then all I have to do is put this on the top and the build of this thing is more or less complete. Okay, I've got my first load of lumber in here. I'm getting ready to put the rest. It's about, it's red oak. It's about, it's a little bit under 40 board foot. Of red oak and I'm gonna go ahead and put these I got that it's a tells you your humidity and your temperature and all that fun stuff and it keeps a record of it too and then I've got that there's my dehumidifier I'll get into all the model numbers of what I'm using here I got to make sure all this stuff works and how long it works this video is gonna be some time putting it together I've got a fan I've got this heater. I think I'm going to need a better heater, but I'm going to go ahead and try this out. And then I've also got my moisture meter. All right, I've got my weight on top, and the way that I did that is you can see what I'm using there. I'm using pavers. I just put a piece of plywood like it was a board that I'd milled, and then just put that on top of it. Now I have everything in here, and I'd also, I forgot to say this, I found another board I forgot about, so it's over 40 board foot there. So there's a heater. I got it set on 90. I'm probably going to need a better heater, but we'll see. There's a fan. I got it on low. There's a dehumidifier. So go ahead and shut all this down and see what develops. Go ahead and put that top on it and put that on it. I've got the door on and there everything is in there. And I'm planning to be able to do about 200 board foot at a time in this thing all of my tech right there is gonna go in the middle all right so i got the top on it and i also went ahead and put this on here just some stuff i had laying around just a rope washer nut screw just so i can pull that door off of there so i didn't have any handles so i went ahead and put the top on there I did that, then I popped this uh, this door off of here, and I went in here, and I mean, I was just hit with how freaking warm it was. I mean, it blew me away. 
and all my stats and everything it's colder than that outside so it's working and the humidity I don't remember what it was but we'll see if that uh that thing's filled with water in the morning we will definitely see that's definitely lower that's already at 39 all right i've had this thing running for a little bit better than 12 hours and i came out last night and it tripped a breaker so i just went ahead and unplugged just the fan and that was that seemed to carry it on through i can wire into another outlet so i've got enough power i just gotta do the electrical work but i'm not sure if i really need to even worry about any of that because i got the heater and the dehumidifier in there and they're both going and that's where we are it's been about 12 hours or so i'm gonna go ahead and go in here and check the check the moisture content of the wood and show temperatures and all that i mean it's working incredibly good it might be drying too quick because this is oak well that's on 90 okay it was on 100 so it does tick up so that's perfect that's a 90 that's a 90 so the fans off hopefully there's enough air circulation without the fan I think there probably is to um, not need the fan between the heater and the dehumidifier but of course like in the summer and what have you the dehumidifier itself should heat it enough so I'm gonna go ahead and check the moisture content make sure I'm not drying it too quickly here I got that fan out of there and these boards I cut them to right now they're at roughly nine foot one inch there's a couple that are a little bit shorter but I'm just doing that so that the ends you know if they do check or whatever I can cut off and they'll be in good shape and this way all I have to do when I come in here is of course it'll be off all I have to do is come in here and then turn it on and then put it on the third setting as opposed to all the other steps and I've been using this thing with some very good success it's held up and everything I got a load in now I've run quite a I've run a couple loads through it usually takes about a month or so for me to get it through and in here it's 72 degrees 30 percent and um, you can see everything I got going on there. I do not have the heater hooked up anymore. I just quit using that because it was just kind of doing a little bit too quick, I thought. So I'll go ahead and pop. This stuff's been in here about two weeks or so. So I'll go ahead and see how it's looking here. Go ahead and try it on a little bit of this oak, this white oak here. That's reading 10.5 percent but that's a really thin piece your thin stuff you're gonna have more issues go ahead and put on one of these thicker ones see that's not even considered dry yet so thick let's try this cherry here the cherry's ready then over here is some of the stuff I've pulled up on top here is some it's spalted ash. And I mean it's really beautiful stuff. I mean it'll make for it'll look really cool on something if you use it. Like if you if you work with the pattern, see how you can see when I melt it and everything. And underneath is some spalted poplar with the live edge still on it. That stuff looks surprisingly beautiful after I build with it then over here I've got a little bit of stuff that some of it I finished all four sides on like this ash here I finished all four sides on and then here's some oak that I just finished like two sides on these are some throwaway pieces that for me ripping stuff for use I mean I've been using this stuff like crazy and there's a bunch of oak over there thick stuff that I have not finished so it does a really good job and you know i just have it hooked up like this i just use the dehumidifier now 
and I don't use the heater, just a little bit too quick. And here is, as you can see, it just dripped out. You can kind of keep a gauge on how much longer you have to keep it in the kiln and to make sure everything's working. Just by watching your water, like I do have a drain under this that I dumped this into, but I just like to keep an eye on how much I'm actually taking out of the wood by making it fall into this bowl. And this just comes out of the dehumidifier like so. It's got a little thing right on it that just you can connect the hose to.